In this video, we're going to go over how to update an existing symlink and overwrite that symlink that has already been created. So uh, we're gonna use these two text files as an example. Um, we've already looked at how to create a symlink, which is ln-s. And what we're gonna do here is we're going to symlink, we're gonna create a symbolic link to my favorite food. So um, if you look at the help here, you can see that uh, just as a little review, we have source file first and then target file. So the source file is the file that already exists. And then the target file is the file, the symbolic link that you want to create, the symlink. So let's say we have favfood.txt here. And now that that's created, um, just so you can see it here in the finder, we have this little shortcut. And this is going to allow us to uh, look at the toppings that we want on a hamburger. Okay, so we've got this, we've got our favorite food.txt set up. Um, if we wanted to ls-la, then we can see here our favorite food.txt is pointing to hamburger. Okay, so that's great. We have our favorite food marked, but uh, what's bad is that's not actually my favorite food. My favorite food is pizza. So let's make sure that's correct here. So now if we go to ln-s, then we do pizza. And then we could do our favorite food here. Um, if we execute this, it's gonna give us an error. So it says the file already exists, which of course it already exists, we wanna update it. So in order to update it, it's pretty simple. We just have to pass this additional flag, which is F. And this will force the link to be created. Uh, it'll overwrite anything if it is existing. And if it's not already existing, then it'll just create a sim link. So let's say we wanted to create uh, a link to like good food, even with the F flag, it will still create it. That's fine. Um, but let's remove that. That's removed. And then if we want to update our link to fav food, then remember we pass this F flag. So once we execute this, um, let's just double check here, make sure this is pointing to hamburger currently. And then once we execute this, it's gonna point to pizza. Okay, so it did, did so without any issues. Now when we open this, we've got our pizza.txt. Oh, this feels so much better. Favorite food is good. Okay, so that is how you update symlinks uh, using the F flag with ln-s. And um, you might be wondering why you would want to do this. Well, I'm sure there are many different uses. Um, one use case is actually what your system does behind the scenes if you're using a an executable like node so here i have my node version and that is going to be node 6 and if i'm using nvm if i change the version of node let's say i want to do nvm use 8 now if i do node version then it'll show me 8 and what's really happening behind the scenes here is this node executable that is somewhere on my system, this is actually a symlink, okay? And so when I run nvm use eight or nvm use 10 or whatever version I'm using, it's actually just updating this symlink. Um, my system has a bunch of different versions of node installed and it's updating this symlink to point to the new version that I've chosen, okay? So my system will handle that for me on its own uh, if I have nvm installed and NVM is node version manager. Um, but what it's doing behind the scenes is it's updating a symlink somewhere. So if you were to build uh, a new language or a new version manager of some sort of language or package or anything like that, um, you might wanna use something similar where you have this, um, this symlink to maybe like my language. And then when you want to allow users to change the version that they're using, um, you'd use uh, a symlink, so you'd do like ln-sf, and then it would be like um, my language six, and you want to update the symlink at my language, right? So this would um, point my language, this symlink to this my language six. Um, hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, uh, just go back to the start of the video and look at how we updated existing symlinks, which is really just passing this F flag. So pretty simple. 
but hopefully that helps you understand um, how to update symlinks and then kind of an application and and how that is used uh, throughout different programming paradigms. So hopefully that helps out. Let me know if you have any questions and otherwise we will see you in the next video.